You're listening to 90.3 KEXP here in Seattle and worldwide at KEXP.org. I'm Stevie Zoom here on this Sunday afternoon. That last set just finished up with music from the new album uh, from Temples. You heard uh, Born Into the Sunset. We are ready and uh, have some live music here in our studios. We have Jens Lechman who is here. Thank you, sir, for being here. Thanks for having me. Welcome back to Seattle. Thank you. A brand new album, Life Will See You Now, playing tonight at Numo's, and uh, you have brought some friends of yours here, the band. How about just a quick introduction of the band to our listeners? Yeah, sure. This is uh, Julia Evanson on drums, and then we have Hannah Westberg on bass guitar, and Emily Odelberg on keys and sampler. Thank you all for being here. Playing tonight at Numo's, you ready for a couple songs? Mm -hmm. You can go right ahead.
Live music here in our studios. You're listening to Jens Lechman, who's playing tonight at Numos. Life Will See You Now is the brand new album. A little guitar change there, and then I think they're going to start the next song. Yes, and this song is called Hotwire the Ferris Wheel. There's a carnival in town Walking your dog past the old playground From inside we hear screaming and laughter From roller coasters Merry go round Lately Life called it one of its dreams by I'm here if you want to try But just keep my mouth shut If you prefer that The lonely cry of a seagull Say let's do something illegal Let's get ourselves in trouble Let's just live a little so when the moon rolling over The building's like falling pants Climb over the wire fence As you drop one up To the royal palace Where did you develop those hot wiring talents? You say your brother was an electrician When he was younger He had other ambitions You say if you're gonna write a song about this Then please don't make it a sad song you say if you're gonna write a song about this, then please don't make it a sad song. You say if you're gonna write a song about this, then make it a sad song. I say okay, I promise if I'm gonna write a song about this, I won't make it a sad song. Go like this. Woo! Hot wire the Ferris way. Hot wire. Live music here at 90.3 KEXP, Hot Wire, The Ferris Wheel, and the first song, What's That Perfume That You Wear, from Jens Lechman from the brand new album, Life Will See You Now. It just came out about two or three weeks ago on the secretly Canadian label, if you're looking for that. And they're playing tonight at Numos. 
I'm not quite sure if you're the first or one of the first to play tonight at the uh, sort of new Numos. They uh, closed for the first couple months to oh. remodel. All right. I, I haven't seen it yet, so uh, you're one of the first people to go in there and perform. Exciting. Exciting. Yeah. All right. Uh, since you played the, the song about perfume, I'm going to jump to that first. Mm -hmm. um, I read that you actually have made real perfume out of the uh, lyrics and uh, description of the song, and there's it's available It's uh, a little bit at the shows? Yes, yes, that's true. I mean, I, I, I always when I write songs, I just take so much time to do research and go into the details of everything. Um, and when I was when I was writing that song, I had this this idea of a perfume, this this one scent in my mind, and I started doing research on on on. Uh, I started going on on perfume websites and stuff like that, and reading about different top notes and and middle notes and bass notes, and and just structuring this perfume that I had in my mind. Uh, and once I'd done that, I I realized I might as well make this fictional perfume now. <laughs> Uh, so I, I turned to this Stockholm perfumist called, called Collect and Bottle, and uh, and they made this this wonderful perfume that actually smells amazing. Uh, so we sell that at shows right now. All right. Yeah. That's a cool thing that's gone happening. Yeah. So it's been a little while since you've had an album, but for people that haven't been familiar with what you've been doing in recent years, you had a you had a challenge to yourself in 2015 to write and uh, release a song every week, mm. which you stuck to, mm. which is pretty incredible. And then you also had a ghost writing project. You were interviewing people and maybe writing songs based on the interviews that you did with folks. And some of that is all kind of a prelude to uh, this new record. Yeah, you could say that. I mean, I, I think one of those projects, Postcards, was sort of like input, where I got some inspiration from... Uh, from forcing myself to just keep writing and write a song every week for a whole year. And and two of those songs ended up on the record. Well, the other one, I think, was like output. It was sort of like getting a break from myself. It's like taking a vacation from Jens Lekman for a while. So that was ghostwriting. That's when I just slipped into other people's shoes and, and became them for a while. And that was nice. Then I could go back to being Jens Lekman again. Was that sort of making, you're interviewing real people, but you can kind of take that and kind of make songs about fictional characters in a way? I guess you could do that, but um, I think uh, for that it was just, I mean, I, I've always received these stories from people, from, from listeners, sending me very personal, beautiful stories, and I've always been very intrigued by them. Uh, and I, I felt like I should turn these stories into songs, but it needs to be on a voluntary basis. Uh, and so I, I did that project so that people could send in stories specifically for this and, and be part of it. Um, and, and meeting people and interviewing them was a very important part of the process uh, to actually understand the story. Sometimes I had to change it once I had talked to them. So now that the album has been released here for the last, uh, since mid-February, and I, I kind of read that you weren't quite sure what you had all put together, and now that it's been out and listeners have been hearing it, What's your reaction to things now that it's been out? Um, I'm, still, I'm still actually working on that. I think this tour is sort of like me, me trying to understand what it is I've done. Um, but it seems like it's making people really happy. And, and it seems like it's, it's really touching some people too. Uh, so, I'm, I'm, so far I'm really happy with the response and, and the way it's touched people. Uh, I'm really happy about that. You have a lot of songs that are, you know, have a lot of emotional things happening with people. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the subject matter is not what generally people like to talk about, but then mm -hmm. you've got a little bit more of a dance accent to a lot of the songs on the new album. So people are uh, kind of having a good time and then listening to the lyrics and going, oh, what's going on here? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, 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 want, people, I want people to dance to it first and then listen to the lyrics and the stories. Um, a week ago when I played uh, another song that you're not doing right now, Evening Prayer, mm. kind of got that reaction yeah. to uh, people going, what's going on here with this song? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, you worked with producer uh, Ewan Pearson this time around. Mm. What, kind of, uh, what kind of things did he bring to uh, these songs? Um, he brought, uh, uh, well, first of all, technical knowledge about electronic instruments and stuff like that um, because I was trying to work with I had this idea 
this vision of a, a drum machine running out of batteries. That was the first vision I had musically for this record. And uh, I didn't actually know how to achieve these sounds in my head. So he helped me a lot with that. But, but I, I think also he, just, he was just someone who you know, kept me going uh, and, and someone who brought in a lot of musical visions that, a lot of details. Uh, like, um, like I remember him getting mad at me because I was playing a, a, a disco song with the wrong guitar. He, he, he probably hates me right now for playing <laughs> these songs with this Epiphone guitar. He's like, you you can't play these songs without a white Fender Stratocaster. It's 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 sacrilegious. Um, but um, yeah, a lot of lot of details like that, and a lot of just I, I I don't think there would have been a record without him. He just kept me going. So yeah. One other part of the record there or the album that I want to ask about is the artwork, mm. the pictures on the back. The, the paintings of the individuals for each song. There seems to, they seem to, I don't know, at least for me, they sort of draw me into who these characters are for the songs. Mm. The artwork is, uh, is pretty cool. Yeah. It's, it's made by an old friend of mine, Clara Wiksten, who, uh, who draws these uh, graphic novels or, or comics. Uh, and, uh, and, and she draws these characters that are, are, are very, very human, very real, uh, like in all their beauty and ugliness. And, and um, I, I, I read her graphic novels and I, I just thought they were beautiful and, and I loved the way she was drawing these characters. And I, I, there was, there was, there's a lot of different characters on this record. And uh, I, I sort of wanted to some sort of face to each each character's name and it's not entirely clear which character is 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 which person in the song though um that, I'll, I'll leave that up to the listener for sure yeah i can't when i looked at it it's trying to read into it yeah and, and that's part of the the fun of listening to it all right life will see you now is the brand new album playing tonight at numos jens lechman ready to continue the song is called our first fight
Live music from Jens Lechman here at 90.3 KEXP, playing tonight at Numos. And then uh, as the week moves along, they'll be headed toward the Midwest if people want to check your website to see where you're going to be. Mm -hmm. What kind of, uh, after touring in the United States, uh, what kind of plans do you have right after that? More touring. More touring. <laughs> it is the touring season. Yes. All right. If you want to continue, that'd be great. Yes. Sorry I messed the last song up, by the way. That was my fault. The next song will be brilliant, though. It's called How We Met the Long Version. We met the long version performed live here at 90.3 KEXP by Jens Lechman. 
Life Will See You Now is the new album on Secretly Canadian and Plain Tonight at Numos. Thank you all for being here this afternoon. Hope the rest of the uh, touring through the U.S. and uh, beyond as the year goes on goes well for all of you. Uh, thanks to our engineer, Kevin. It's 90.3 KEXP Seattle.